Hello, my name is Chief Warren Rashid I'm the RSM of 2563 Petroleum. In this video, I will be talking about the tunic. This tunic is currently in C2, C3 dress. If you would like to know the other dress, you can look online on our website. Uh, to start us off, every cadet will receive a ascot, a lanyard, 15 brass buttons that will replace your black buttons, and a ceremonial waist belt. Um, quick things about the buttons is there's horses on them, so you should, the horses when sewn on should be facing right way up on every button and every pocket. So first thing we will talk about is the right sleeve. Starting from bottom to top. So the first badge on your right sleeve should be your star level badge. This is a master cadet badge. The star level measurements should be six centimeters from the bottom of the cuff, so down here, to the bottom of the star. And then when that moves up to the top of the star, it will be one centimeter from the top of the star to your camp badges. Now for camp badges, the first, the bottom row will be your regular camp, so basic instructor GT. They will go all in a line, one centimeter above your star level badge, touch it in order. And then when we move up a, up a row, you have your advanced camps. So Leadership and Challenge, Outwork on Scotland, staff, and like that will be touching the top of the badges centered out. So if there was just one badge here, it would just be right above here. Next badge is the Warrant Officer rank badges. So Warrant, Master Warrant, Chief Warrant Officer goes 20 centimeters from the bottom of the cuff. So bottom from here, all the way up to the bottom of this cuff. Sorry, the bottom of the badge is 20 centimeters. As we move up, starting from the bottom of the top, 12 centimeters from the top of the sleeve to the bottom of the RCAC badge is where that will go, centered to the sleeve, as long, along with everything else. And then above that, along the crease of the top of the sleeve, you will have, if you are not a sergeant, you will have a First Azar's felt shoulder flash, which will follow the course of the sleeve, center it out. When you, are, when you get your first promotion all the way up to sergeant, you will have chevrons, which come down here. The measurement for that is one centimeter below the RCAC badge. So the, the trooper chevron is just a chevron, so that would go from the top of that badge. Next would be, if you're promoted to sergeant, you will re receive metal shoulder flashes or shoulder titles and these will replace your shoulder flash. Now let's move over to the left sleeve. So it's the same measurement for the RCAC badge with your master, sorry, your NSC badge going one centimeter below so you can see the space there and then centered out to the sleeve. From here, it is six centimeters from the bottom of the cuff to the bottom of the shooting badge. As you can see here, there's a little space. And then 20 centimeters from the bottom of the cuff to the bottom of your first badge. There is no specific order for acquiring these badges as long as they are one centimeter apart. So 20 centimeters from bottom to top, sorry, from bottom to bottom, and then one centimeter spacing between these two badges. Okay, so let's talk about the chest. So on each pocket, on the right pocket, at the top, we have my ribbons, name tag, and expedition pin. So ribbons will go flush to the top of the pocket in order, and then half a centimeter above that will be the name tag, and half a centimeter above that will be your, your uh, expedition pin. On the pocket here, center, of the pocket along this strip will be your Duke of Ed pin. That's a good program. And then when you come over, um, there's a few different things. So you will, if you ever get your jump wings, those will go one centimeter above here, just across. And then shooting pins will be center, like the Duke of Ed pin. If you have a biathlon and shooting pin, you will center them out like so. There'd be a pin here and a pin here. There'll be a one centimeter space in between those pins. Uh, okay, that. 
But that is all. If you have any questions, ask your section commander or troop commander, and the measurements are on our website, so refer to that in the dress section. Thank you.